I'm not being funny, but what exactly are you doing here? Waiting. I got that much. What am I looking for? Birds, what do you think you're looking for? Well, I can see a couple of pigeons. And yeah, there's a guy with a zip across his neck. I'm guessing he's not human. You know, you're impressing me more every day. Type 5. Without endangering himself, too much of a dum dum. It's his mask we need to worry about. I can't see any muster. Look again. No, no. Just a couple of dead bodies. Oh, well, they're not dead. They're undead. Quince is an ordinary vampire. You need to get yourself in training. You will help. I can help. Ruby, this job requires intelligence and experience. Now, the first, I'll take your word for. The latter, I need to see some more evidence. And what's Mina's experience with fighting vampires? Well, Mina has been around a lot longer than you think. What is it with people around here, huh? Gavin, you're the only one who uses that machine. Who do you think does the cleaning the fairies? I suppose Ruby's good with the dishcloth. Uh, hello, I'm here. Uh, hello, I know. Hey, Mina, we need your help. Sorry, no can do. There are vampires in town. I heard, but piano recitals without the pianist don't really work so well. I thought that was on Friday. No. But I have tickets for Friday. Well, they should have told you, I'm sorry. Well, maybe we'll catch up later, huh? You know, if you want to help me, you could read this. Knock me up a word document, plot summary, you know. Gee, thanks. Got all the good jobs. What would I do without you? I could feel the soft, shivering touch of the lips on the super sensitive skin of my throat, and the hard dents of two sharp teeth just touching and pausing there. <laughs> but you'll need me to sign. Sign what? The health check form. I always sign the health check form. So that you know if I've HIV or hepatitis or, or whether I inject myself with drugs. Do you inject yourself with drugs? Oh, good gracious, no. I'm sure your blood will be absolutely fine. 
He's very charming, that doctor of yours, isn't he? He did take an awful lot of blood, though. It's for a very good cause. Oh, I know. I like to think that my blood will help some small child somewhere. I'm sure it will. There you go. Well, they just strike a thorn in the road. Keep it going. And if it hails or if it snows, keep it going. I mean, really, kill me now. Hey, you're gonna have to learn to appreciate the finer things in life. I do. I appreciate it when I reach a new level on worms. I appreciate it when Homer Simpson says dope. I appreciate a good night out with my friends. Some other time. Why are we watching Mina anyway? She's got a concert. If she doesn't have a concert, she has a pass. And if you knew your Homer, you'd know that. behaving differently, we're greater and smarter. I don't believe you were invited. I'm not any old vampire, Nika. I don't need to be invited. Where is he? Who? I didn't know you were coming back. We do a lot of things without informing you. This wasn't one of the wisest. Well, that remains to be seen. Presumably you were hoping to find him alone. You were hoping we had gone our separate ways. Once he does, it's none of my business. I came here to give him a message. Leave. I mean, I'll tell him that. Your concern is very touching. Zippy! If he wants to see you, I'm sure he knows where to find you. You'll give him my message. Show Miss Hack around. She appears to have left her guide dog at home. Good night. Where's Luke? I sent him home. He's not really interested in piano recitals. He's back, isn't he? Have you seen him? No. Are you sure about that? Rupert, why would I lie to you? I'm sorry. Mina. I know this is difficult for you, but, um, you went round to see him, didn't you? You really don't trust me, do you? He wasn't there. That's the truth. I spoke to the witch instead. What did she say? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I know what you're thinking, Rupert. I messed up last time, I know that. You and Quincy have a history, I understand, but I cannot afford to let it get in the way again. 
You won't. We have to kill him, Nina. I know. I won't stand in your way. you, doesn't it? Having me around. He's in there. Somewhere. to you before. I don't want to know where you've been. I don't want to know what you've been up to. It's lovely to see you too. What do you want, Quincy? Catch up. I doubt it. I miss you. It's the truth. For all it's worth. I miss you, Mina. Do you miss me? I think so. What do you want? I've had enough of being on my own. Would you believe me if I said I was lonely? But you have a Nika. <laughs> I'm lonely and it's your fault. Don't start that again. That's the truth. What would you have me do? Well, I don't know. I didn't have a choice. find a vampire myth in almost every culture. Most people think vampires come from Transylvania. Actually, they started out in the Far East. From China and Tibet, they transported themselves with the trade caravans along the Silk Route to the Mediterranean. Maybe they were looking for a better quality of life. The Slavs seem to think that if they scatter puppy seeds at their gravesite, vampires would stay up all night counting them instead of killing people. Sadly, that is untrue. <laughs> South Americans think that aloe vera over the door will do the trick also. Untrue. <laughs> the only thing that will help against the type 12 are quick reactions. <laughs> Vampires move faster than a New York minute. How fast About this fast. Ah. Whose side are you on? I think I'll be alright. 
bit of practice. Well, this is just the beginning, my boy. Those skills will only help you if you're fighting vampires. They won't help if you want to kill them. Well, I'll buy a few bulbs of garlic and I'm sure mum's got a steak in the garden somewhere. Fairy stories. Only vampires can kill vampires. If you want to kill a vampire first, you got to bring it back to life. Right. We need a sample of Quince's DNA. What, well, you mean like a hair or something? A hair, a piece of clothing. Fine. Well, I'll just ask if I can borrow his jeans. We need to stake out his lair. There's got to be something there. More weight than only cars. No car this time. Sorry. of news that will solve this whole case. No, seriously, she's like Dracula, suck her blood night after night after night. What else? She's like really old and I mean like 150 under her clothes. She has... <laughs> Ruby, have you found out anything useful? Um, interesting. Not necessarily useful. <laughs> you are completely hopeless, you know. Well, I'm not. Sure, you're up to this. Just don't get too close and make sure you call us when he's on his way home. Is that this? I can do that. Store. Don't let them smell your fear, Luke. Mr. Gallagher. Quite a thirst following me all that way. Please let me buy you a drink. Is 
see, the problem is that vampires really have kind of bad press, and you just can't afford to get a bad press these days. I think that might be something to do with the fact that you kill people. And you kill to eat. Oh, yeah. I feel different. I eat chicken. Do you like it? Love it. Same for me. Chickens don't have feelings. Now, are you sure about that? They're not intelligent. Neither are most humans. <laughs> so, I mean, how many people have you killed? <laughs> You're intrigued now, huh? I'm not intrigued, I'm horrified. How often do you eat chicken? Once a fortnight. For? 18 years. Once a fortnight for 18 years. That's 468 chickens. Now, if you imagine that I've been alive about six times longer than you, Lot of people. The chickens feel the same. You shouldn't have sent him in there. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. God damn it, he's the last Van Helsing. He's gonna have to fight vampires sometime. He's not ready. He was Galvin. That's not the problem though, is it? We have cuts and bruises, but no DNA. Yeah. I have to go back in there. Too dangerous. What's up? There must be another way. Are you sure enough I should stake through the heart while I'm killing? I tried that before. Don't ask. Did you get your butt kicked? Suppose when we get the DNA, what are you going to do with it? Well, there is a way by using electrical currents to stimulate the dead DNA. Thus, it becomes living. Then what? We shoot him with it. The live DNA infects his body, so what was once dead lives again. And without his immortality? Quincy reverts back to his natural age. Which is? 125. At which point? He dies. Cool. Well, it would be cool if we could get a sample of his DNA. Did you not get his DNA, man? Do you have anything useful to say? I may be blind, but I'm not stupid. I can hear you pulling faces. You cannot hear me pulling faces. Ladies. Well, I might have something useful. Is that what I think it is? What is it? You mean you can't hear it? How did you get a hold of that? Don't ask. Thank you, Ziffy. You're really rubbish. Thank you, Ziffy. I'll catch you up. Interesting choice of entertainment. But you should have seen me. I'm the master. So I presume you're here to tell me yes. Oh, you do, do you? Well, people don't generally come all the way across town in the middle of the night to a deserted parking lot to say no. They pick up the phone. So what's the deal? You're making me nervous. I thought a lot about my life. You're all I have. I mean, sure, there's Galvin, but he's just 
gonna grow old and die. I'll do it. I'll join you. Okay, they're running the car, and then you're gonna need your coat on as well. It's freezing inside. Here. Terrible at small talk, you know that. Yes. I'm fine. Really. What time are you meeting? In half an hour. Who is this Quincy Black anyway? Just someone I used to know. You don't read very fast, do you? He isn't in the book. I don't think. You're not coming. What? Not safe. But I... No buts. If I wanted to sell my story to the tabloids, I'd make a lot of money. Yes, you would. You need to keep me happy. It is an added joy to me when me that... Bloody hell. You could look slightly more pleased to see me. I am. I thought you weren't coming. I had a bit of a run-in with Anika. She's not massively happy about the whole thing. I told her it changes nothing, but I think she knows that's a bit of a lie. She's in love with you. Yes. Well. We don't have to go through with this, you know. You could leave, take Anika, start afresh. What, new life in the country? I don't think she'd be very good at baking cakes and making jam. This is what I've always wanted, Mina. For you to finally admit to what you really are. A proper vampire. To be with me. Because I must be missing something here. You just sacrificed Galvin for some old lover. He's not my lover. He's my son. Good at lying low, are you? You better have a pretty good explanation, because now he's got Galvin and Ruby. Calm down. Calm down! We need to take care of your arm. Is it bad? No. No, it could have been a lot worse. I mean, I don't know why you just didn't let him kill me. I would never do that. Us and them. Grade them and smite them. I thought you believed that crap too. I do. I do. You don't have children, Luke. You couldn't possibly understand. Aren't the things you choose, they just happen. Didn't ask to be bitten by Dracula. 
We were happy, Jonathan, Quincy and I. A proper family. I had a normal life. I thought they killed you. That's what he said in Ruby's synopsis. When she got off the internet. Nothing worked. They managed to keep it at bay for a while, but... I watched as my husband, Jonathan, grew old and died. Quincy was all I had left. He was so much like Jonathan, so intelligent and gentle. Uh, hello? Gentle? It's true. And that was a long time ago. He changed. After the war, he was damaged and bitter. Everywhere he went, he was surrounded by death, and then death came for him, too. Many soldiers died of septicemia. Their wounds became infected. There was no way of treating them, no antibiotics, no knowledge of blood groups. Quincy wouldn't have lasted another day. I couldn't sit there and watch him die. My only child. The only link to the life I once had. I knew that there was one thing that would definitely save him. My blood. Turn Quincy into a vampire. I saved his life. Well, that's one way of looking at it. I didn't know it was going to turn out like this. I thought Quincy would be able to control his urges like I do. But he chose to embrace his anger instead. Why didn't you tell me this before? It's not something I'm proud of. I'm sorry, Link. You messed everything up. Listen, I don't see things as black and white as Galvin. But it seems pretty clear to me. Quincy has to die. I know. I've given him enough chances. He's not going to change. I'm going in after them. But I, I don't think that's a very good idea. You've seen how powerful Quincy is. Galvin had tried to defeat him once, tried and failed. We can't afford to lose you, Luke. You couldn't beat him when you were healthy. This? Flash wound. <laughs> I'm going to find them. You can either help me or not. Give me a few hours. I'll be waiting. I can't imagine how it must feel to be hung out to dry by your own mother. I lost my family a long time ago. As did you, if I remember correctly. He's the real deal. I already have. Everything goes to my next of kin. What about you? Who gets the car? Or have you obtained something else worth leaving? I got a clear conscience. Really? I don't think Luke would agree with that. What do you think, Ruby? Has Galvin not told you the real story of Luke's dad? He will keep us here until he gives in a while. I can live without me now. I've done for most of my life. 
It's not her that I want, but she does have something rather dear to me. I should take you out, you know that. You should. But you won't. I told you to leave. You didn't tell me you were going to kill him. No choice. You're a terrible mother. He's got an ideal son. You have 24 hours. What exactly does he want? Simple. What he wanted all along. Not you. Your blood. The God knows where the Garvin and Ruby are even alive. Where are they? It's a warehouse in Shoreditch. Do you want me to come with you? Thanks, but I think it's best to go on my own. It's wine. Like any wine I've ever drunk. Maybe there's just a little blood in there. Why do you do it, Quincy? Mina's not going to join you. Why do you do what you do? I have my reasons. Bitterness. It's been a few years now. Maybe it's time to let it go. You have lives took away the one thing I had in my life. Oh, she was lovely. Calvin's wife. He's got a picture in his wallet. I'm sure he'll show you sometime. Galvin likes to group us all together. One half-life got his back up, so we all have to suffer. People deal with their problems in different ways. You have no idea about problems. My mother was bitten by Dracula. I fought in a war I didn't believe in. My father died, my friends died, and to top it all off, my mother turned me into a vampire. I think I deserve my time on the couch. He's got a point. Don't let him sweet talk you, Ruby. He's a killing machine just like the rest of them.
time for games is over, Mr. Galvin. I offered a perfectly reasonable swap, but my mother has declined. I can only apologize. I'm sorry, too. God damn it. I'm going to buy you a new coffee machine. It's worse than that. Oh. Stack 11, second shelf, third book along. <laughs> You're the first vampire in heaven, Mina Harker. Well, I'll send word to you in hell with it, Galvin. You can see, right, when you're a vampire. Hmm. That must be weird. Now I know what you both look like. Um? You're better than I expected. You're as I expected. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I'm sorry, what is that supposed to mean? It means things are back to normal. Actually, Galvin, you could do with losing a few pounds. <laughs> You got yourself a new girlfriend. It's Alice. It's girls like her that give women a bad reputation. Everybody's part of this war. Most of them just don't know about it yet. It symbolizes vengeance and must be paid in blood. What is it? <laughs> Text DEMONS to 83339 to visit the DEMONS mobile site and you can get episode highlight clips on your mobile and much more. Cost is two standard network rate messages and your mobile network operator may charge you premium rate costs for using internet WAP services. Coming up... Hello, welcome to another all-star charity special, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Who Wants to Be a Millionaire celebrity special is next.